Okay, hello everyone. You're very welcome to my shed. And I'm going to build something different today. Different for me, anyway. Um, I flew with a friend of mine. I fly kind of paragliders and paramotors and stuff. And I flew with a friend of mine a couple of years ago uh, in a field, you know, in front of my house. Uh, I had to carry my machine on my back and he just sat on his and, and drove it into the field. So, okay. Um, I'm going to make one of these. Now, <laughs> I'm going to make one of these, minus the roll cage, and minus all the fancy bits that he's got. Essentially, I'm going to turn what I've got into, into something that does what his does, but won't look like it, if, if that makes any sense. Okay, so my machine won't look like my friend Bogdan's, but um, hopefully it'll get me off the ground. And we'll see, you know, I'm going to make it as safe as possible. I'm using salvage materials uh, to put stuff mildly. And I'm going to put the camera down now and show you what materials I plan on making this with. Okay, so I can't be the shot at the same time. So here we have a lump of, a, of an old kid's bike, you know, front end of a bike. Whether this makes it to production, I'm not sure. Okay, so bike wheel. This is a scrap wheelchair. Um, and the wheels are bigger than the ones that I've shown in that little picture. But um, I think I can make it work. Uh, the fields that I fly from often has longer grass, so the extra little bit of height will be a problem maybe with stability, center of gravity and so on, um, but the bigger wheels will, will traverse the terrain better, you know, will travel across the country better. This is an old um, scaffolding trestle, you know, for holding planks and so on. The reason for this is it's, um, it's fairly thin wall stuff, but very strong, and uh, fairly light for the bit I'm using it. Uh, I used to have a, a Volkswagen Transporter van. This is one of the roof bars off it. It's fairly light, very strong, and I'm going to use that as the, you know, the axle on the, um, on the, on the power motor. Okay, so the plan is to um, take the axles, take the two wheels off and axles off the, um, off the wheelchair, um, and to make the, uh, the bar, the roof rack, go between the two axles. Shorten that, I have to figure out scale and so on, and I'll do that up against the power motor. Um, so I'll be taking shots and video as I go. Okay, so I'm just going to pull the axle out. Okay, so my wing is good for about 120 kilos. And that's my weight, plus the weight of the wing and all the lines, all the gear I carry, everything, including the wing, needs to be in and around 120 kilos. Uh, the thing is though, uh, I'm always over on that, even without this contraption. So I, I gotta keep this, um, this trike as, uh, as light as possible. Now, I don't know, if I could build it and make it about 15 kilos, at this stage I don't know, I haven't weighed anything. But if I can, uh, you know, have two wheels, I have to figure out the distance between them, you know, put some sort of a bar between them and have an axle and then weld everything onto the axle. Um, axle then has to support my weight plus it's, you know, the weight of the, uh, the power motor. And in the air it only has to support its own weight because everything hangs from the carburetors. So that's the plan anyway. Let's uh, see how I can kind of put that into production. <laughs> I'm not sure. So I'm going to put these inside the 40mm tubing um, box section. I think it's 40mm anyway. I'm going to weld them in so I can put the axle through and tighten. I cut the axle to about 40 inches now at the minute. And uh, I'm going to size that up. I'll do one end first, put it together, mock it up, see if I can do something with it. And then, um, then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, the plan is really just to stick it. I'm going to make a cap to go over it and then weld that on. The problem I have with this stuff is it's galvanized. Now, easy enough to get it galvanized off the outside of it, but I'm actually trying to weld inside, so... Yeah, anyway, fun. But I'll show more as I have it.
Okay, so I'm gonna let this cool down. Obviously, it's red hot. Whoa! Too hot. So look, uh, I'm gonna let it cool down, and um, that's our axle. We'll put the two wheels between it. Okay, so this is the state we're at at the moment. This thing is still red hot. I just welded it. Um, what can you say? What you can say. Okay, so now obviously this thing has to be light enough for me to lift, and as you can see, I can lift this no problem. Uh, obviously, it's going to get a bit heavier because I need to put a wheel on the front, and um, but I, I don't know what weighs. Like I can hold it with one arm, so you know maybe ten kilos. I don't know, maybe not. But uh, I'll weigh it in a minute, and uh, we'll see how we're going. But yeah, it definitely looks um, looks like it's going to happen. And here's my trike <laughs> or bike. <laughs> it's got two wheels at the minute, but uh, I got to figure it out now. Um, you know, for center of gravity, I need to figure out where the front wheel is going to be. Um, obviously, when I'm hanging, you know, from the carabiners, um, I need to be bang on center, or and I need a way of adjusting it, you know, forward and back a little. Um, it's like a weighing scales, and that and this has to be the tipping point. I have to be bang on center. So anyway, I'm not worried about that at the minute. I'll figure that out. I, I will be hanging this in a few minutes from the ceiling, so I can check out center of gravity. But I need a way to hold the, the cage, you know, of the power motor. It's got to sit on this. Now, at the moment, I've got two wheels and a, a, a T-bar. Um, so I need to figure out what I'm going to do by way of, um, of mounting this and uh, what way I'm going to put the front wheel on it. So once, um, once I figure that out, um, and then I've got to strengthen it, you know, so that it's, um, you know, on landing, and just want to go. Because uh, that would hurt. Um, Anyway, so that's the plan. It's progressing nicely at the minute. Um, if I get the front wheel on today, um, that's a long way towards it. Not finished, but a long way towards it. And um, the plan then is to um, mount some sort of a system that I'll show you as I do it. Okay, getting too ahead of myself now at the minute. Okay, so I've got plans. Carry on. Okay, so we had some progress today. Basically, I made a cart, a trike. Uh, there's three wheels on it. I'm going to change the front wheel and uh, um, yeah, it looks like it's gonna work. So, you know, from very humble beginnings, and as I said, it's not gonna look fantastic. Um, it gets some paint and that sort of thing. The big thing is that it works. So, you know, when I get it that I can mount the power motor on it and, um, you know, it's supporting the weight and it's balanced, so I have to hang from the ceiling in it, you know, uh, set up, then I'll try it without, um, without a wing, you know, drive around the place. And then, um, you know, if it holds together for all of that, um, I'll do a low level flight and see what happens. And then after that, maybe, you know, bring it up and um, we'll see. But anyway, at this stage, it's not built. So, you know, that end of it is academic, but, you know, it's likely that I will fly it and bring it up thousands of feet. But we'll see. And when I do, if or when I do um, fly it, you know, um, I have a, a head cam and microphones and a whole lot um, from uh, other stuff I do. And uh, I'll bring you up with me. But anyway, for now, look, I'll show you show you what I've done today. So here we go. Okay, so you can see the uh, the wheelchair wheels. Um, <laughs> that's what it's supposed to look like, but won't. And um, okay, so that's that's what we've got. Now, these wheels um, are going to be in a different position. Essentially, the paramotor cage is going to move about a foot back to the rear of it. But I haven't put the uh, the supports in yet. They need to be welded and made, and I haven't done that yet. Um, this is a reserve. I'm going going to hang from um, the wing on these, and uh, I'm going to support this down onto the frame, and so on. So anyway, look, there's a lot to do. Um, but what can you see? Okay, so remember that this bar here, that's going to be shortened because everything is move, moving back. But I don't know the final length of it until I do a hang test and check for center of gravity. Okay, so at this stage, I don't know where the center of gravity is going to be. I'm going to have to shorten stuff and uh, I'm going to have to put some more bars in. And this is just mocking it up. So uh, it didn't take very long, a couple of hours to get it that far and then I had to go off. Um, and the last segment of video I did, which was brighter during the day, uh, died. Uh, looks flyable tomorrow, so I mightn't be here either. I might be off 
uh, flying without this, you know, just my wing um, up in the mountains. So we'll see, I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, look, that's where we're at at the moment. Um, I'm going to do more on this tomorrow or Sunday and uh, hopefully I get it in the air within the next week or so. Um, you know, so it's one thing getting it finished and trying it out, but I need the weather conditions as well to be right when that happens. So everything has to kind of align. But um, all things being equal, um, it will be flying soon, hopefully. Uh, it'll, it'll all go well. It looks okay. Weight-wise, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to go and get the scales now. Two minutes. Okay, so I just weighed it, and it's um, about 22 pounds, 11 kilos, um, or 24 pounds. So, I mean, it's, it's, um, it's totally doable. Okay, so this is our setup now, minus the power motor. And, um, and it's not bad. Bear in mind, now this, this bar here needs to be shortened. Um, but that's uh, contingent on center of gravity. So, you know, it'll probably come back to here somewhere. Where I have that mark, maybe you can see that, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, so it's going to need some stuff here. Uh, the catch, the, the power motor is actually going to sit behind the back, the, the axle bar. Um, and we'll see how that works out. But uh, that's only a matter of welding something on to extend that on. And uh, something to strengthen this. Um, and then a couple of bars off this then to support the arm rests, if you like, on the power motor. So anyway, that's the setup. And, um, you know, it looks like it's going to gonna work out. Uh, hopefully I get to fly this thing and... Um, and check it out but first anyway when i assemble it and it's all bolted you know i'll start the power motor and uh, you'll get to see all that all of that as well if uh, if there's interest in this certainly i'll, I'll uh, progress it uh, one way or another i'm going to make it anyway because uh, i want to fly it my power motor weighs um, as i said about um 40 kilos with a full tank of gas um, which is you know it's okay uh, given the power it's got but um, it gets tiring very quick and if you've got all winter gear on and, and all that sort of stuff and my wing is big and heavy too um, uh, you know if you don't get away in the first or second attempt it can be it can be very tiring so I'd love to do some low level flights around the field uh, check it for safety you know make sure it takes off it lands it doesn't you know collapse or whatever uh, I'm going to do some weight testing on it as well low testing so, you know, there'll be plenty to happen anyway. Uh, the welding is, is strong and the bolts are strong and all of that. And the structure itself is, is fairly, um, it doesn't need to take a lot of weight. When I come in, I don't come in, boom. You know, I can glide in and, and away. But uh, in any case, um, it's all theoretical at the moment. But we, we've come a long way. Uh, I hoped to get a, a little bit further today, but uh, we've done okay. I'm going to um, change the front um, wheel on this because it, it's not, uh, the angle is wrong for starters. Uh, but very easy for me to chop it but i'm also going to get the the uh a different wheel for the front of it which would which will mean um you know some alterations but i don't mind it, it looks to me like it's going to work which is great um i'm going to have a trike but i wanted that i can you know dismount my power motor and bring it off in a car or something and go flying uh wherever you know without the trike and then sometimes maybe i'll want the trike if it doesn't work <laughs> i'll just chop it and it goes in the bin and you know bye bye trike but uh, that's the deal anyway. So look, um, if you like the video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, I read all the comments. Um, I get quite a lot of comments, so it's hard to kind of keep up with it. But I try anyway. And uh, thanks very much for all the support. It's brilliant. Um, it, it really is. And I am trying to grow the channel, and it is growing. So that, that's brilliant. So look, um, thanks very much. See you all in the next movie. Bye for now.